Well, the deputy opening fire in Marion County is the latest example of a split second decision making under enormous pressure. It can mean the difference between life and death. Yeah, now coincidentally, Orlando police trained for that exact worst case scenario, an armed suicidal person headed for a crowded building. And New Six's Eric Von Anken was there when Orlando police first showed us the simulation and how officers are trained to handle it. When I first heard about that real life situation in Marion County today, it kind of gave me the chills because it was nearly the same exact simulated scenario I first told you about a year and a half ago right here at Orlando Police Department's training facility. They were showing off their new 4K high def training simulator and the first scenario was a guy with a gun to his head trying to walk inside a place where there were people. Again, what you're about to see is a simulation. He's just, he won't leave. The training scenario started with a man in that truck threatening to kill himself. Hey! Hey! Drop that weapon, sir! It quickly escalated when, watch, he got out of the truck pointing the gun at his head. And as he walks towards the building, ignoring officers, watch what happens next. Sir, please, throw the weapon out! Hey! Hey, sir, please stop the woman. Don't walk to the building, sir. Don't walk to the building, sir. Stop walking. No. Again, this was a training scenario, one of hundreds in the Orlando Police Department's surround screen simulator that the PD had just gotten in July of 2020. Orlando's police chief at the time wanted to show us how hard it is to get it right every day in every situation and how hard officers try to get it right by training and retraining, drilling scenarios like this where sometimes there is no good answer. There may be some people who will question whether an officer should someone in the back. This is a perfect scenario where unfortunately that action would have to be taken. The chief told us back then when somebody with a gun threatens to walk into a building filled with people, police have to stop that person even with deadly force if there's no other way. And what this training simulation also showed us is officers often just have milliseconds to observe, process, and react. And 62% of the 300 different training scenarios here require de-escalation for those scenarios to end successfully. All departments have their own type of similar training, but we should point out here that OPD does not want to comment on anyone else's training or anyone else's situation, including what happened in Marion County today out of respect for the department and their investigation. In Orlando, Eric Von Aiken getting results. News 6.